Good morning, everybody. Join me today as I film for my morning routine. This one's going to be a little different as Richard's home today, so it's gonna be me and my family. First, I always start off with a stretch and my neck usually hurts, so I gotta roll it around a bit. Here I am realizing I should have wrapped my hair last night. And when I'm washing my face and brushing my teeth, I hate when toothpaste or soap gets in it, so I always like to slick it back. So over here, you see me starting off with washing my hands because I always like to have clean hands when I'm washing my face or brushing my teeth. Once I'm done with that, I get my toothbrush and I start brushing. And I actually have two toothbrushes that I brush with. Once I'm done brushing, I like to make sure I clean my tongue as well. And over here, I was getting attacked by the gnats that I have in my bathroom. I have plants around my house, so they just like to target me, I feel like, because I'm always trying to get rid of them. Anyone who has gnats know what I'm talking about. And here I am starting to do my face wash. I like to wash my face with soap first before doing anything else. And once I'm done rinsing my face, I like to use my own product, which you'll be able to buy if you want on the link below. Now these products are all natural. I store them in the fridge, so I had to go downstairs, grab it, and come back upstairs and apply it on my face. Now this turmeric blend is not to be used every day, so I use this here and there. I like to give it a second to soak in and then I rinse it off. Once done, I pat my face dry. And there is no use for me to put any moisturizers because I already put oil in there. And this is why my face is so clear. No pimples. Now over here, as you can see, I have my workout clothes that I'm going to put on. And I always like to wear a sauna wrap for my walks as this helps with losing the weight. Now next, we're going to go wake up baby girl. Here I am quietly opening up the doors to get her potty ready because we are trying to potty train her. Now she does know how to use the potty, but she still needs assistance asking. And I make it a point to do this every morning so that way eventually she will wake up and she will ask to go potty. So once everything is set up, I go wake her up. And actually this morning she was not having it. She was extremely fussy, she was upset. Sometimes she's a morning person, sometimes she's not. So here I am comforting her, giving her kisses and hugs. Something I'm sure we all wish we had when we wake up not in the best mood. <laughs> and another important thing I like to do is just ask if she's okay. I like to also remind her that I'm here. And if she has anything that she wants to tell me, she can. I'm you know, they push you away, but they actually do need that hug and love. And after a little bit, you see here that she's a little bit more cheery now. She's all happy. And sometimes it just takes that little bit of extra loving and comfort to guide them into a good mood for the rest of the day. And these are my favorite moments with her is just getting those hugs that appreciation and love from her is just, nothing can compare to motherhood. <laughs> Once done with the potty, which she didn't pee, but that's okay, I change her diaper and we proceed to wash her hands and my hands again. Now this is just simply a routine that I like to do. Having her practice wash her hands helps her practice healthy habits. Next, we move on to brushing her teeth. Yes, she also has two toothbrushes that I use to brush her teeth. One of her toothbrushes are a lot softer and that's for the areas that don't really have teeth because she has more teeth on one side than the other. And the other toothbrush is for her front teeth. Once done, I like to wash her face. And then after, I like to pat her face dry as well.
And once done, I like to go in with the mango butter on her face. Now she's all done. And here I am finishing up my hair for the day. And if you guys have been watching my videos, you know Julia is obsessed with books and loves to read. And here I am getting her room for the day because I do love sunlight in her room. And also today's laundry day, so as you can see, I took her sheets off to wash. And I like to shut off all electronics in her room as well, nightlight, fan. And here I am getting her outfit ready. I like to pick out her bows and see if she approves of it as well. As you can see, my daughter has curly hair, so I do gotta comb it out. And here's her final look. And once I say let's go, she jumps up and we get going downstairs. Now, as soon as I make it down the stairs every morning, if my dad's home, Julia goes to say good morning. And here I am again, opening up all the blinds downstairs because your girl needs sunlight for her plants. Don't mind my aloe, she's having a baby. And here I am getting her high chair ready and getting the cutting board ready to cut up some fruits for her. We got the strawberries, we got yellow kiwi. And if you don't know this, now you do wash your fruits with apple cider vinegar. And always check all your fruits because they be some molds or worms. One time I found a caterpillar in there. So yeah, I always check all her fruits before anything. And is it just me or is it like ridiculous how much strawberries are in one container? It's just not enough. It really isn't. They'd be like $6 and then that's all you get for $6, really? Crazy. Once I'm done, I put my berries to the side to soak and I continue to prep the other fruits. In this case, it'll be the yellow kiwi. Julia has already gotten a few of her molars so she's able to kind of chew this up so I leave them a little bit chunky for her. Next, I'm going to prepare her oatmeal slash cereal. I start off with a cup and fill it up with some oats. I throw some water in there and I put that in the microwave and get that going. And here I am, thirsty as all hell, drinking. And then next, I like to get her baby cereal and add that to the mix so that way it's like an oatmeal slash cereal. And the cereal helps with boosting iron and making sure she has other vitamins in there that she's supposed to have. So I mix that all up and I like to give her this baby multivitamin I've been giving her this for, I don't know, since like four months or five months. And let me tell you, my baby girl has gotten sick only twice in the 14 months that I've had her. So I highly suggest you go get this. So I mix that up and then I add that to her plate. As you can see, the strawberries chopped up, the kiwis chopped up, and she's been practicing eating with the spoon. So um, once I'm done putting that on her plate, I'll put her the spoon as well. Now tell me why this girl wanted a fork too. So I give her a fork and this is her eating with the fork. She's so funny because <laughs> she picked it off the fork to eat. <laughs> so while she's eating that, today is trash day. So your girl is going to give her man a rest and take out the trash for him. Now this doesn't happen all the time, but I do try to make an effort on kind of giving him a break with that. And as you can see, I went upstairs, grabbed Julia's diapers, and I'm throwing that out because it smells. The box is going recycling as well. Now, usually we have only one trash can that goes out, even though we have two, and then we have the recycling bin. And once I'm done, I walk back in and I shut the garage door because we don't want no bugs coming inside. I live near the mountains, so there be bugs. <laughs> shut the light off, pack Julia's snack, and get ready to kind of put the stroller out there. Now I'm hot, so I'm putting my hair up. And me and the stroller fight every morning, every morning to go outside. Now here I am coming in and Richard scared the crap out of me. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> not know you was up. <laughs> and I asked him to go on a walk with us and luckily he said yes. Now here he is showing off his coins cause he collects coins. And Roy's hungry, so I'm going up the stairs to feed him. 
And after that, I also grabbed Julia's stuff and I'm starting to pack her bag because you gotta make sure you have everything up in there. Spray bottle, toys, uh, pants in case she pees herself, an extra diaper, sunscreen, bathing suit in case we decide to stop by for a swim, all of that. Hand sanitizer and of course a book. Zip that up. Make sure I have a knife in there. Pocket knife is for safety. Once all set, we're gonna bring that outside and put that in the stroller. Julia's done after me doing all this. So I put her in the stroller with socks. I got my man's outside, the little shades, and we outside. We're, we're on the bike path and we're walking. Here we are. Now, thank you so much to everybody for watching this video. I would really appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe if you have any questions let me know and make sure you click on the link below to purchase my products now we out here in the desert and we love living here in vegas well near vegas i should say and yeah have a great day guys bye